it's October 17th, 2021. I'm sorry, November 17th, 2021. Um, I'm in this section. I was uh, called up to, actually yesterday, the vice principal of PS31Q, I, don't, um, I think, whatever his name is, um, the gentleman, uh, said to me that I had, I was one of two parents in Anth my son Anthony's class that did not sign off or um, pick up the class, their class computer. Apparently, something called a DOE, um, they call it Department of Education in New York City, um, is pushing these devices on to the students um, and so whatever I have the box in my possession I suppose you could say um, but um, I said to them I'm like listen to me I'm trying to keep my son out of the electronics especially the computing, whatever, because I've had problems with my health and the computers. Every time I've purchased one and actually tried to use it for minimal stuff, I'm not talking, like, just typing and whatever. I was like, it always seems to have some form of interference and some kind of virus where all sorts of displays come up and then the whole thing shuts off. Or I've had another one that I had um, where the light bulb on the screen just blows out. I mean, I've had so many problems with technology being in the state of New York. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't crave it. I haven't looked for it. Um, the I'm not like the average consumer. And there's health problems. Now, DOE, isn't there in alphabet soup somewhere... DOE as Department of, uh, Department of Environmental, Department of English, and then what? Department of Education? I'm a little confused why the New York City Department of Education, who's being run, by the way, by someone more um, in a kindred closet of Miss Ellen, who was a, a nanny that I had when my son Anthony was younger. Um, that... that mugshot um that person is what's on the television at the moment running this program um in the school the one who's pushing this on me and collecting my signature also same lineage um as is the uniformed school guard um, looks like an NYPD, but I think it's something to do with the inner school. He does not wear a hat inside the school building. But again, same lineage as the woman who's collecting. And I'm like, is there an opt out? Like, does my son have to? And they're like, well, if they close the school, you know, and I'm like, I understand. But if they close the school, I can find him access for that emergency situation. Why does he need a totally separate... So they're like, well, but they've preloaded stuff on there. Now, I'm thinking to myself, that's even more scary. Because now the city of New York is, what, doing perimeter and cybersecurity without Department of Energy and Department of English knowing? I'm just curious, because I'm, I'm not exactly the most trusting since while I was in the school building... Speaking to them, all of a sudden my neck, my eye spine on my neck starts charley horsing and starts crinking. And I'm like trying to like stretch my neck. All of a sudden it's electrical interference. Now, Inez, in French, la nose is the nose. So now Inez itself, the way that the Alexa had explained it to me earlier was um, some form of inertial measuring tool as it goes through, um, pretty much synopsis as it goes through time and space. 
that was the definition that I was like, now that's interesting. The only problem is it had computing in it, but it's not this type of computer. It's computational on a totally different scale on a mother of nature in an esoteric physics program where the very machine-like, you know, but how do you explain in large-scale body machine, you shouldn't ha I shouldn't have to, is the point. This should have never occurred, but it's like they're pushing all of this electronic interference junk, which is harming the health, self, safety, and welfare, and then they're arguing that it hasn't been proven. Um, I'm concerned. I'm in an ABO group, according to Vital Capital, this morning, visual capital this morning that I, I found on an, art, uh, an artificial intelligence fed by Google, um, which ha follows some algorithm that I most likely need in my daily whatever. Um, it was, it's an agreed upon, I've seen it used before, not issued by that particular source, but it's a, um, the ozone being the largest O blood group is in North America, is in like the Americas, all the way from North America, Central America, South America. And somewhere over there, they give a layer of Latin American whatever for flexibility of like really hot temper, fuego temper, and trabajo, and like not wanting to. You guys have three extra letters in the alphabet. English has a thing with the A that needs to get to safety orange zone and not fight within the ozone and not be harmed within the ozone. So now, why am I trapped within the ozone of red, according to Vital Visual Capital map that I put up this morning, as a, um, a utility of sorts, a communication tool, um, just because I also had my DNA heritage run and it matches just for the purpose of where my blood specialists are grouped, it's outside of the New York area. So I'm not quite sure why I'm trapped in New York. Um, I don't feel that it is getting better. I think it's getting less safe. Um, I have unexplained medical interactions that happen and they seem to be unexplained except in some paranormal way but then it makes you sound like you're absolutely crazy but um this is a definite problem because there's i even wrote at the i signed out this box which has no device in it i left the device at school i signed the bottom of the form as the uh, the people from doe our, but Department of Education DOE section of New York City is requiring me to take this and sign their form. And at the bottom, I wrote no opt out provided and I initialed it as NR and NC. Specifically, I did both. Um, because this is just ridiculous. If this is what's harming myself and my son and it's a uh, included in some other thing that's going on between diamond, double diamond funnels, creating a hazardous nanotube of photon microns, which I also put up there, that's causing this level of light, which is damaging by itself to the human to occur. This is a problem. These are big problems. This is sentinel level problems. I'm a centriole. I'm a Golgi apparatus that had some ribosomes. I just packaged some proteins in the field. I still need centriole help if I do one of these. It's like, I just, I mean, I don't know how to get to Nick. Nico, Nick. Um, I think when Alexander was born, the gentleman who came said to go by Nico. Was it all right? So, Nico, for Alexander's safety and my own, we're both A. We belong somewhere else since we're stuck in an ozone. 
um, and there's several levels of danger going on. And I know that I, my mother told me that apparently Jason did the same thing for Alex. He signed some form in Nassau County with Oceanside School District um, and Daniel to allow, I don't know if it was iPads or if it was, um, or if it was Chromebooks. I think Alex had both at some point. I know he mentioned it, but again, Jay's been withholding Alex from my caregiving and seemed to be misfeeding my children information. So I'm not getting into that, but my children have been a little more standoffish and a little harder to communicate with since um, the loss of my house out in Suffolk where I felt safer and the push into my children into Nassau and myself into the city and separated us completely. This is all really problematic. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is broken. Star 1978, star 8378, uh, Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. And I'm still, I was waiting before the house got lost, before the children were dissected in a really dangerous categories and situations, my children, by I don't know what. Um, Special Task Force Mark was supposed to come and follow up with me in Patchogue before the 69 West Road Boulevard house disappeared and had and got sold from underneath me. But he never arrived either. 